Yes, I found a saber there. A saber, a very powerful sword. And let's pass this on to someone who will use it more often. Zheng Fei. He cannot carry anymore. He has a maximum of 8 items. That includes weapons. So hold on to this, Zizi. Why would give a real man a real weapon? It is a weapon he will enjoy. And not in that in new and no way. And this gives him a impressive 70 attack power. Which, while not as powerful as Guan Yu's trident, does surpass the spear. Speaking of things to surpass, it's time to surpass Yuan Shao. Because he is a jerk. He kidnaps women. He terrorizes the locals. He lets bandit forces roam free. Speaking of things that shouldn't roam free, here's our final destination, with two gates blocking us. Against Malian and Lu Zhang. Definitely nothing to write home about. Not even worth showing you on screen. So one moment while I defeat these underlings. And on to our second gate. Which has these fools. Shanghai and Gu Tu. Once again, nothing to worry about. Well, Gu Tu has a good amount of soldiers and strength. He shall fall by the wayside, just like the other fools. Fair enough. Seems we are weakened a little bit. I shall return to the previous castle and get recovered. Those gates shall remain defeated. Aha! Here's a unique fool. Ju Xiao. And he has some powerful tactics as well. Never mind. <laughs> and yes, these guys have remained defeated. Now it is time for our final course of action against Jai Zhao Castle. Who do you think I am? And I did it proudly. I'd rather take your blood. And oh my, there's Du Xiao. And Yuan Xiao is a very powerful warlord. And he's a master tactician as well. Zhang Ti is incredibly strong. With a few good tactics. Du Xiao, another one of their tacticians, and that traitor Lu Bu, who has lost intelligence for some reason, because he is a fool. Regardless, you know what this means, go for the tacticians. But we have several tacticians, Yuan Shao, go for their leader. Without their leader, they shall be in disarray. And once again, there must be a river nearby. Concentrate your attacks. Concentrate your pain. Cross your fingers. Hope that does not happen. And curse Lubu for his upgraded weapon. It may be wise to go conservative in this battle. It may have been wiser to have leveled up first. But we are warriors. We have faith. I have faith in myself. And as long as you have faith in me, the Han Dynasty shall continue. So use our new healing tactic, Yin Zhang. However you pronounce it. And do it before Zeo Yun hits the dust. Oh my! Over 500 recovered soldiers recovered on each individual. Now that's power.
a combination of strong tactics, strong attacking, and virtue shall get you through this battle. So since Guan Yu has a strong weapon, we'll live Zhao Yun. And our weakened soldiers can use Yin Zan to recover. Have Resurrex handy if needed. Have Elixirs ready. Have plenty of wine ready. Keep your men's spirits high. Keep their health high. And even tacticians can be fools, attacking with a mere 18 strength. I don't care what weapon you have, 18 strength will not get you through this battle. Not with their measly 18 strength. Did I say 18 strength? Yes, I did. And Yuan Shao, with a beer 26 soldiers, is wrecking havoc on our army with his tactics. He has the power of fire on his side, but so do we. Let's have Zhao Yun on our side. A great all-around hero. A hero of both the times. And maybe getting a little desperate at this time. But press on. Press on their tacticians. Hmm. Attack or recover? I vote recover. Do it with your least strong generals. That will be Guan Ping at this time. <coughs> if he had sufficient tactic points. Very well, we shall use that fire tactic. And use our elixirs. And repel attack. Cause great pain. Step on toes. Step on fingers. Claw eyes out. Go for the eyes. A soldier is nothing without their eyes. They can just defeat you with their sense of smell. Yes, indeed. Strongest warriors get first heals. Zheng Fei just got hit by the Lu Bu. We must pursue Lu Bu. Or he will pursue us. And as much as I want to go all out, it's still risky at this moment. We must press forward. Press your opponents into the ground. Press them into walls. Press their nails. Make them scream. Press nails into their nails. Hmm. One shell's head. Aha. Peace settles over this land. And we have conquered you one shell once again. Historically, so so defeated Yuan Shao. Lu Bei had very little to, or nothing to do with it. But this is Jing Zhao Castle nonetheless. And there is no palace. There it is. There's just a great big lake in the middle. And in our next adventure, we shall get the spoils of war and check out all the things this new town has to offer for us. Stay vigilant, warriors, and drink plenty of wine. Just don't whine about it.